-hmm. And uh, we almost set off the, the smoke detectors and it, it wasn't good. But it worked out. We sold the house. <laughs> With the what's cooking video is that you're targeting a wider audience. So that person might not be in the market for a home. They might not even be thinking of buying or selling, but when they see that video, they enjoy the cooking show. They, they learn a, a cool recipe perhaps, but then it gets their wheels thinking, you know, and they go, Oh, I want to go see that house. We just didn't want to have these boring virtual tours or just, you know, videos of a home. We wanted to bring context to our videos. So the what's cooking in real estate was a great way to showcase not just the client's properties, but some really great dishes by combining two of my passions. It goes viral per se. Like I had one video, I think I had 117,000 people that had actually viewed or, or had seen it, right? Most people who, um, who've who had had a, a cooking video in their homes, they, they love it. Cause it's not just a, like it's a keepsake for them. So they're able to go back in years, you know, in, in a few years and still remember their original house and, and look at the video and it just brings brings back memories of their, of their home. And they're quite impressed with the content. A lot of them don't really understand it until until they see the production and they see it all put together the recipes thus far have been inspired by our, our cooking at home like what we cook on a regular basis uh, with our kids a lot of it is travel inspired so if we've gone to a, a, a foreign country and we tried something different we like to introduce it uh, we try to keep our recipes very uh, quick and simple and so far we've done about 25 what's cooking in real estate videos and 21 homes have sold uh, and in excess of 5.5 million dollars of real estate inventory since the inception of what's cooking in real estate.